I always start my day off with coffee, always. If I don't have my gym supplement pre-workout. Okay, wait. I love this coffee machine, but it rinses as soon as I turn it on. So once it's done rinsing, then, then I gotta put another coffee cup. Even though it could, um, the water could go in the little dispenser at the bottom, but then I gotta pour it out. So I'd much rather have it just go in a coffee cup. Also, I do not drink hot coffee ever. It's always iced. I do not like um, hot coffee. It's just not good to me. What is that? Now I'm gonna make my green smoothie. I can't even, I can't even really call this a smoothie because it's just greens and collagen. Oh wait, first I'm gonna just drink my egg whites because we don't have time today. Some days I will microwave my egg whites and eat them or when it's a day where I need to just like hurry up, I'll just drink them. Oops, too much. That's all right. Make sure that the egg whites that you get, they're pasteurized. I and mean, I think it says like within seven days, use it up if it's open. So especially if you're not gonna cook it, make sure you don't leave it in there too long. I've even put my egg whites with my coffee before because they really taste like nothing. I had to turn the thing off. Okay, so this is collagen. And I'm not promoting a brand because there's plenty of good quality collagens out there that you can get. Also, what I like to do, I like to freeze my spinach so this was a fresh thing of spinach and then I freeze it and it's perfectly fine. When it blends, um, I just taste better when it's frozen to me. And it's probably cheaper to just get frozen spinach as is, which I probably should do, but I always get the fresh spinach. But it's a good tip for like when, if you're, you have fresh, fresh spinach like for a salad or something, and then you see it's gonna start getting bad, just put it into the freezer and then you can use it for smoothies. So, okay. It surprisingly doesn't taste bad. I just wish I could drink it faster. Um, it obviously probably tastes worse to someone that is eating super unhealthy. Like when I ate unhealthy and was eating like delicious food, sugary food, then this would be like, well, but now when you're eating healthier, healthy things taste good. And when you start listening to your body and what your body needs, 
you start to like understand like this doesn't taste like a cookie obviously but you can feel what it's doing for your body and you know it's good for you and your body needs it so when you start reading your body and being in tune with your body you start understanding what it needs Maybe I didn't blend it that good this time. And it's not because it doesn't taste good, it's because of the texture that makes me go, ugh. organic oats, two eggs, and then I'll put a little bit of water. A little salt, or maybe a lot of salt, and some pepper. wait for it to cool off while it waits for while I wait for it to cool off I am going to get my snack ready for the day sometimes I like move things where I place things haven't yet established where everything's going to go ah, yeah, 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 yeah. and so much Tupperware it's unbelievable I need a better system as to how to keep my Tupperware but I cannot keep it organized to save my life. So I'm gonna do a rice cake and peanut butter. I usually get rice cakes that are sweet to have with peanut butter, but I got white cheddar and I'm going to do the white cheddar with the peanut butter. They did such a good job on these. There's so much deliciousness. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know it might be gross to some people putting peanut butter on a savory rice cake, but it doesn't bother me. Darn it, one extra gram. And I know you're probably thinking one extra gram, what's that gonna do? It's not necessarily going to do anything, but it's about creating a habit of being consistent. Um, cause small actions add up. And so you want to be as accurate as you can be with things. It makes you feel good. And like, for me, I like to be in control of things. I like to be 
organized, um, not with everything, but it just feels good to be consistent, not slack off. It feels, doesn't feel good when you're putting all this effort into meal planning and prepping, and then you're not even doing it exactly how it's supposed to be done. And I've noticed with small little excuses like, oh, I'll add one more gram to that. No big deal. What's it going to do? It leads to more excuses. So the less excuses you let yourself, allow yourself to have, um, the better. So that's what I, oops, dang it. Flipped it upside down. Um, okay, now let's see if this is good to eat. I need to get to the gym. I've been slacking off this morning. I need to wash this. Or actually, So I am having coffee right now, so I'm not going to do the pre-gym that has caffeine in it. So just good old pre-gym, non-caffeinated. And then I do two of these. If you're a guy, you'll do three. So I do two alpha gyms. And then I'm going to have my gym multivitamin, my gym omega as well. Which I already took out. I might have put too much pepper on this. Okay, now we're gonna watch Joyce Myers. possible by the partners of Joyce Meyer Ministries. If you'll stay busy doing his will and finding out what he wants from you and what you can do to cooperate with the growth of the kingdom of God, I'm Joyce Meyer and I believe that God can heal you everywhere you turn. What's the most important commandment they said? And Jesus answered in Matthew, I think, starting in 36 and 37. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And a second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Come on, make peace with yourself. And stop wanting what everybody else has got. I wish I looked like you. Well, I wish I had a ministry like Joyce's. Well, I didn't get it wishing. And you probably don't want it anyway. Because there's a whole lot more to it than this, I'll tell you that. Oh, 
one today is biceps and triceps, and then a little bit of back and chest as well. But if you watched my last YouTube video, I had mentioned how I am wanting to lose my back more so. Like I wanna keep a muscular back, but my back is way too wide. I don't, I don't want it to be this wide anymore. So I'm not going to be doing as much back exercises. But just FYI, I'm not saying I don't want to be muscular. I still want to be muscular, but I want to transform into something new, feminine, strong, but it's just a good challenge to, 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 to change into something new. The one thing I need to learn to do when I'm doing videos is to not be thinking about other things because then I'm like saying, stuff but then thinking about other things i'm going to show you guys my little plant it is still alive look how cute still alive i can't believe i've been able to keep it alive so pretty good all right let's go to the gym okay i'm on my way to the gym i am going to eat my rice cake with peanut butter Shit. Um, rice cake with peanut butter before the gym, even though that's like not the best thing to eat before a workout. It's better to have carbs and some protein, but definitely not fat before the workout, but whatever. That's what I'm doing today because I'm kind of off, um, off what I'm doing today. Anyways, okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going to eat this. And then I'm gonna listen to some music, but I cannot have the music on YouTube, unfortunately, because it will strike me as copyright. So, I'll turn this off and see you guys at the gym. one thing I'm gonna try and do 50 pound dumbbell curls today see if I can do it um, not because I'm trying to get bigger but because I'm trying to just see if I can do it what the hell are you doing you idiot don't know how to drive um so let's see how that goes okay now i gotta get focused i can't talk i just gotta work out okay bye
Thank you.